Welcome back everyone to Pontos Phantom Hobbies. This is Season 18, Episode 5 of Time of Legends Joan of Arc, and we are playing the Battle of the Herrings from February 12th, 1429. Uh, we had a massive fourth round, uh, just cleaning up the board here from some of these activations. The um, We saw some massive injuries for the English troops, but it looks like most of our English are going to rally this turn. So maybe my next turn, we're going to have these on the rally point. And uh, we've also got a huge army, a huge cavalry coming up here from the forces of Charles Bourbon. So those are, those are coming into play. And we've also brought back our mounted knights. So this could be a route at this. This could be the last round because it, it could be the final straw for these guys. So let's let's see how this comes along. Uh, before we jump into the gameplay, quick shout out to this channel sponsor, Pontos Fathom Press. Uh, as you guys know, the channel is not monetized, but we do have a bookstore. This is the Catu Journals out of Lovecraft's Providence. This is the omnibus hardcover edition of the massive six volume August Molden Howard Giuseppe Balsamo joint work. You can actually pick these up as individual volumes. Uh, you've got the Necromancy of Nyarlathotep, the Alchemy of Azathoth, Hermeticism of Hastur. Archaeology of Yogg-Sothoth, Psychoanalysis of Rilia, and the Genealogy of Cthulhu. Uh, each one of these are part of two trilogies, but in, in fact, you can read them as standalone. You can start anywhere, but the collection looks great when you have it as a hardcover. So uh, you, if you want to, you can go over to our Patreon, and you can check out um, Volume 1, which is the Genealogy of Cthulhu for as little as a dollar. Uh, you can read through. This is the first of, the, of all the books. Uh, we also have out in the bookstore upcoming some new editions from Pontus Fathom Press. We've got the Alchemy and Anthroposophy and the Dune Saga, Dune fans' collection of podcasts and essays around Frank Herbert's Dune. And uh, with the rise of AI, August Moldenhauer, William Mitchell, Artificial Psychoanalysis of Desiring Machines, collected edition. These are also individually available. Go check out our podcast channel if you want some um, behind the scenes on these or if you want to listen to podcasts or even reading through them. We've got lots of content there. Interest in those topics helps to support the channel, as do your likes and subscriptions. Thanks to all of our Patreon subscribers and to our YouTube subscribers. We're actually also on alternate media. We're on Rumble, we're on BitChute, and we're on Odyssey. So thanks for your views there as well. Let's jump into round number five of the Battle of Herrings, February 12th, 1429. Now we're going to start out with John Stewart's faction is getting is dwindling here, but he's going to uh, get... We'll get our activations and our tokens. Uh, so we can grab three power tokens. I think I'm going to pass those out to each of them just to make it easier. Three power tokens and three power tokens uh, for everyone. Uh, okay, and then we will get our activations as well. Activations are four this round. And notice that this has a lot of activations and that we're not able to use them all because just the, sl the low number of, of pieces. So let's start out with, um, again, with John Stewart. We'll activate him. Uh, they're all consolidated into the one space. So let's go ahead with that. And uh, first off, let's have um, hit John Stewart's foot knights attacking the pikemen. So John Stewart's Foot Knights, Pikemen have a yellow. Roll that up. Uh, and the Pikemen are uh, hit here. And they will go to the infirmary. Let's have John Stewart himself. He's going to move into here and he's going to attack Simon Morier. So John Stewart versus Simon. Uh, Simon's back from injury here. We can use those power tokens to heal them there. So we can take that across. And then Simon has a black die. John, uh, sorry, Simon has a red die. And John Stewart has two red die. Let's roll these. Block and an injury. So again, another injury back to Simon. Uh, for the English... Okay, next up we have, um, that's going to do it for the John Stewart player. Let's move to the French player. We have Jean Dunois. 
Dunois, 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 Dunois? Mm, something like this. Uh, let's move these guys in uh, here with activation. We're also going to activate the crossbowmen, and we're going to activate these uh, mounted knights. Mounted knights are going to go, um, again, they're going to move up another space to here. And they're going to try to come around the other side. Uh, let's have the crossbowmen firing at the cart. Again, that gets the extra die here. Crossbowmen having a red. And it gets blocked. So let's go ahead now with the mounted knights. Actually, the mounted knights are here, so I believe they can attack. So let's have the mounted knights will attack against the uh, mounted knights. Two reds against the yellow pikemen. And these pikemen get sent back to the infirmary. Uh, next up, let's have the turn change to go to... Oh, I guess we can have Jean Denois, also red, black, and yellow, also going to fight Simon. Simon, again, has a black defense. Block. Simon is going to be pushed back out of this space, uh, but he's got those bowmen that he can bring to bear on the next round. And then I think we have these um, French pikemen, actually uh, French provincial militia for a white die, going to go after the English pikemen who have a yellow die. Let's just do another white die. They get a block here, so they are not able to connect. Uh, let's just grab that die. <clears throat> okay, uh, so that is going to do it for Jean Dunois. Let's also activate the friend, the um, Charles Bourbon's uh, knights, and let's have them moving as well to here. And let's have these crossbowmen join the other crossbowmen. We'll just split the group into two groups. Um, actually, oh, the, I don't have a charge here, do I? I can, I can take, I can change, remove a wound or take a, a charge. I'm gonna give these guys a charge instead and have them be able to charge all the way up to this space, right? So they're up in this space now. So they're gonna go up to these bowmen. So mounted knights, uh, mounted knights going against the bowmen. It's two red versus a yellow. And the bowmen are sent to the infirmary. I have another mounted knight that's going to go after um, uh, Simon. So re another mounted knight. Simon has got the black defense here. So it's red attack, black defend. And he's able to defend those mountain knights. So that's pretty cool. Check this out. It's like he is fighting like against the mounted cavalry, right? On foot. Just pretty cool, right? Go check out the miniature paint through video for this as well. Okay, so that's going to do it for the uh, French. Um, let's go ahead to the English now. And I can now bring back these English to the rally point. So we'll bring these back. They've got pikemen, bowmen, and men-at-arms. So let's obviously activate them. So we'll activate for the English. This would have to take these out of here. English activation here, English activation here, and here. Uh, let's go ahead and have our bowmen attack. Bowmen attacking with two black against mounted knights. Mounted knights get the effect of a single black die roll. So we'll roll the, like this. And mounted knights are injured by bowmen. Let's also have our uh, pikemen attacking mounted knights, uh, white and black. Uh, but the, these mounted knights block them. And then our, our um, sergeant at arms, no, our, oh yeah, so it's also white and black blocked again. So the cavalry holds. Let's go to, so they're completed. 
Let's have this group fighting the French. So the English here have pikemen white. The French pikemen are with a black defense here. They are foot knights. And going to the infirm. Wait, wait, white is that? That's black. So yeah, they are also going to the infirmary. Okay. And I believe that's going to do it for round number five. Okay, let's uh, let me go ahead. I'll get the die rolls for the reinforcements, and we will move to round six. So first off, we have mounted knights go into the waiting area. And so do our bowmen. And then the pikemen as well. And then finally the last stay wounded here. Okay. So that's going to wrap it up for round five. Let's move on to round six. Uh, it's coming down to the wire, guys. So we'll see you down in round six of the Battle of Herrings. Go check out our bookstore links below. Uh, like and subscribe and talk to you in the next round. Thanks. Bye-bye.